How many of you are already using probiotics? I feel like a lot, a lot, a lot of people I know are using probiotics or they know that they should be. And what are probiotics? They're basically healthy bacteria. Um, we have all types of different microorganisms and bacteria that are in our gut and they're really, really important. But sometimes the bad bugs, right? The bad bacteria, um, they can overtake um, the good the good ones and this can cause a lot of issues it can cause leaky gut even trigger um, autoimmune diseases like Crohn's celiac disease um, IBS isn't really like a uh, autoimmune but just issues like that a lot of your healthy hormones are created in your gut your mineral and vitamin absorption um, are in your gut. So you really, really want a healthy gut. You also want a wide variety of probiotics and colonies in your gut, not just one that like takes over, but lots, so that you have this really nice flora and ecosystem. Something that can destroy that is if you take probiotics, not probiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics, life, bio, life, so anti-life, that's what antibiotics are. If you're drinking tap water, how do they clean it? With bleach, right? With chlorine. And so that's an antibiotic, anti-life. So you're probably, you're definitely messing up with your gut flora if you're drinking tap water that hasn't had those things removed. If you are already taking a probiotic, I am going to suggest that you try the one that we offer called Revitalize for 30 days. First of all, if you've been using the same one, you want to mix it up. Second of all, there's a million different types of strains of probiotics, and they all do different things. Now, this Revitalize, pretty cool, it doesn't need to be refrigerated, and that's because it's a strain called Bacillus coagulans. Bacillus coagulans. We always hear about um, acidophilus, right? We, we hear about yogurt cultures. Um, obviously, they need to be uh, refrigerated. The cool thing about Bacillus coagulans and why it doesn't need to be refrigerated is because it's tough. It's tough stuff and it survives harsh environments like your stomach acid, right? And that's really important because we don't want all of our probiotics to just be in our stomach. We want them to go to our intestines. And so the Bacillus coagulans can survive the um, acidic environment of your stomach and so they go and they then start to proliferate and implant in your small intestines where we want them to go. This strain of probiotics is being shown in studies to help with uh, diseases like anti, um, sorry, autoimmune diseases like Crohn's, celiac disease, any, I mean a lot of, a lot of autoimmune diseases, almost all of them are start in the gut um, and that's where immunity so leaky gut that kind of thing um, this type of probiotic is is showing in studies to be very healing and helpful and I personally have seen that um, and I really really like it something about probiotics this is just a tip didn't really plan on saying this if you ever get the stomach flu um, or you cannot go number two I um, mean you just like need to get better right away Take a high dose of probiotics, like 12 to 20, like really, really high. And it's going to go in there and help reset your gut flora. And if you take, if you need to go number two, it's going to like kind of flush you out. So I wouldn't take that many. Um, and it says what the directions are on here. So if you're doing a cleanse, you're really trying to reseed your gut, you can take two capsules three times a day. 30 minutes before meals, so they have time to implant. But for maintenance, which is what I'm using it for right now, take one capsule one to two times a day, 30 minutes before a meal, and that's just so that um, it has time to go in there and break down and implant and um, start to grow before you eat your food. It also contains, besides just the probiotic, inulin, and inulin is like food for probiotics, so you don't wanna, it's a prebiotic, you don't wanna just put the probiotic in there, you want to um, feed it. Again, this is called Revitalize and it's just one in the several of digestive support and health supplements that we offer, um, but I'm really, really loving it. So again, if you already are using probiotic, I would totally recommend that when you run out or you're about to run out that you contact your 
coach and ask them to hook you up with 30 days of Revitalize so you can see how you like it. If you're not using probiotic and you have any type of gut issue or bloating or you take antibiotics or you're just feeling fatigued and yucky, it could be a big game changer. That's Revitalize.